Welcome. Today we are going to winterize my big boat. So I'm going to kind of give you a quick uh, rundown of the setup. I've been uh, running it for a little bit, warming it up, just idling. So right here, you've got the pink stuff. Marine antifreeze. I uh, still got the water running, so it's shooting everywhere. Got earmuffs on. You got a clear hose so I can see what's going on to it. And then I've got this uh, Y adapter. This is the garden hose. This hose goes over to my winterizing bucket. And of course that's got a pump in it and it's plugged in. I just gotta flip the switch. And when the time comes, I'll turn the water off. Well, I suppose that's on. And we lose everything. And I just have this on reduced. And then of course I'll I'll flip the switch and let the antifreeze come out too. So it's kind of the plan. I'll let you guys uh, run with me here. This is kind of a homebrew setup. I know there's a lot of options for uh, gravity fed, put the bin up here kind of a thing, but I'm, uh, I'm gonna do something a little bit different here. So I guess I'm just gonna let the camera roll and uh, hopefully I'll get some decent editing in. <laughs> All right, turn this guy back on. Temperature's at about a buck 50. That's about where the thermostat will open. We're going pretty good. Water up, water down. Now I'm gonna kick the engine up a little bit just so we get some more heat quicker. See my RPMs uh, climbing a bit. 1200, engine temps also climbing. Gonna go check my, my water supply. Still leaking. switch and about a buck 50 so you know the stats gonna be opening up Kick it up a little more, get her hot. We're at two. Lost my shoe. Still kicking water. Temperature still holding, about a buck fifty. Bring her back down to idle. Temperature took a little bit of a drop there when the thermostat did. It's saying it's actually climbing now. It's gaining heat in the system if you see that. Doesn't have the ability to cool it off quite as well anymore. So now it's dropping back down. So my plan is gonna be to rev this thing up again. See, cause now my temp's way down there. It's dropping.
running it back up to two. As you look how far down my temperature dropped. Climbing a little over, opening and closing. You see, now we know it's working. It's going up, it's going down. You can see the, the needle moving just slightly. So this is when I'm gonna go do it. Temperature still holding at 150. It's doing the needle open and close thing. Check my bucket, we're pumping. Looks like we're good there. We're good, good. Bucket still pumping. Oil uh, gauge is jumping around, but oh, look, their temperature dropped down way dropping down now we're tanking now it's going right back up that thermostat's opening and closing you see that buckets going down watch that stat needle we're back down to 150 and falling and it'll climb back up and then as soon as it does I'm gonna jump down and uh, add my bucket. All right, now I'm gonna go to idle, running, 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 running. Already have this prepped, add some more juice. All right, we got that going in. I'll do one more just for safety. all that good we're pumping and running clean now we got pink juice going in I go back up here and look at my temp gauge we're holding warm we're over 150 and we're only at idle idle's a little high on this thing right now a little over a grand now I'm gonna open that bitch up all the way I'm gonna pump it full of juice open now the pink's going fast it's pumping out of here quick all right that's done run up here and turn this off so I don't burn out my water pump you can hear the pump trying to pump some more or boat out Kill the power, kill the transfers. I'm actually gonna pull this off the engine. You got pink fluid everywhere. All right, now I'm gonna get you down below. Let's see if uh, see if you guys can make uh, my pet cocks to drain this thing for for good. And again. Just ran it, so we're a little bit wet and heavy. Hot. So right underneath this exhaust manifold, got this blue wing nut. And I'm gonna turn this and hopefully not get burned because that water coming out is warm. Shit, it's hot. Oh God, hot, nice and pink. The yellow steam coming up. Ooh, I can smell it. Oh, just drains out this manifold here. All right, so now that that's done, if you go down below here, hopefully you guys can see it. There's another butterfly valve way down here 
So I'm gonna crack that. Ouch, hot, burning self. I don't know how to do this with a camera in my hand, but here we go, there's nothing. Now that one's barely draining. I have to clean it out. Ah, there we go. Oh, Jesus, that's hot. There you go. Camera's getting foggy, but ah, I think you get the meaning. And I always watch these just to make sure the stream doesn't stop. There you go. Maybe you can see it there. And that's all the water that we just cleaned out of the block. It's now antifreeze. I know a lot of people tell you to do this with an engine idle, but I want to make sure all the crevices get power pushed through. Make sure it's actually clean and it's not water anymore. Close for a while. I suppose this goes without saying, make sure the cork is out of your boat when you're doing this. And you're on an appropriate angle. So, it's pretty much slowed down. A little trickle is all that remains. At this point, I'm gonna bring you guys around, let's do the other side. This was only half of the process, let's do the other half. Maybe this time, I'm gonna do this a little smarter and do the bottom one before I do the top, just so I don't burn myself. That's pet cack. He is down here somewhere. Right here. Ouch, watch out, these awesome manifolds are hot. Again, we're clogged. Oh, not in it. Jam this in there. Pull it out. It's not coming out strong. Let's we'll do some more. That's good there. Got this little wing down here. And now we're both going. Oh. If you look at the bottom ones coming out. Top one's coming out. Now we'll just drain this guy down. These off manifolds go quick. The hole's a lot bigger. This bottom one, it's got more of a restricted access hole, so it's coming out, but not nearly as quick. Did you get a steady stream? And uh, in the interest of uh, full disclosure, this is literally a wire hanger that I cut, bent, and just made a pokey tool out of in order to shove up in these drain plugs. If you kind of see this one a little better, it's got a little petcock on it. You just turn it, open it, you're good to go. And that is that. Still coming out. Let's see, it pretty much ended there. Little drips coming, everything else is good. We're still steaming, see here? This is holding heat. 
water's still dripping, we're still steaming. But with all the water that we pumped through, or I should I say antifreeze, we should not have to worry about this being able to freeze on us. So I actually put seven gallons through this bad boy. So I had five in it beforehand. And then uh, I added two more. I'm just curious. Engine block temps way down. That's good. Uh, but let's look at the setup I have here. Uh, first thing, we talked about the pump. Just a utility pump. Goes to a garden hose. Sets it into a five gallon bucket. We're good to go. I suppose before we even get to the pump, I have it plugged into an extension cord. This is literally an on off button. You hear it turning? That is, allows me to turn it on, turn it off instantly. I don't have to worry about plugging or fumbling or anything because it kind of gets going quick. Um, from the garden hose, it goes into just a standard Y pipe connector here. Um, this line right here is just a regular hose from the side of the house, pressurized city water. Um, you kind of see me running and turning that off. Hopefully, I don't edit all that out. And then this right here is a clear PVC pipe that I made. It's three quarter inch opening and it goes to the earmuffs. I did have to put both ends on there, um, buy the hose clamps, do all that. At one point I was going to do a gravity fed system, but uh, I didn't think the earmuffs would suck around uh, my water intake down there quite enough. I suppose I should show this. This is your water intake. You want to get the earmuffs, or these things, covering those up. So we'll cover them up. I got the other side I got to get on, but you put that on there, pressurize your water. That is gonna force water up the column here to get to the water pump that's actually in your outdrive to circulate it through your boat. This thing has to be in the water in order for that actually to start sucking water up. So if you don't have any pressure pushing the water up here, you're probably gonna burn out your water pump in there. And this particular unit, I have to take the whole unit, lower unit apart to do it. It sits at the brake, that's right in this area. So I always want to start it out with pressurized water from the garden hose. Of course, our Y here, turn the water off. That goes to my, uh, my bucket with my pump. So then it just goes straight through. And I did restrict it some, just so it wasn't pumping a whole bunch of uh, extra water through. That way I wasn't cooling down the engine too much. Because I know if you uh, force too much water in there, that thermostat's not going to stay open as you kind of hopefully were able to make out in the video I was doing for you. But once you're up, operating temperature, running, doing your thing, and you're ready to make your transition, this right here allows you to turn the water off from the hose and on from the pump side of things. Um, little note on this, this is backwards. Typically, you're going to go in from your garden hose right here and it's going to Y out this way to your two branches. I don't have that so that's why I have these little couplers on here. This one I probably could have bought the right end but I didn't do it. But here you're going to have to do two different ends to make these hoses hook into it so maybe you can do it a little smarter and buy the right parts. I just happen to pick this up so is what it is. Works just fine obviously. Um, when I open this that pump is going to pump really, really quick. So again, I do a partial. The clear hose allows me to see that I actually have fluid going through. Again, these water pumps, at least this particular one, will burn up very quickly if it does not have water or fluid in there to cool it down. Because the exhaust um, on the innards pushes right through it. And I have done that before. It's a costly mistake. Don't do it. Obviously, keep an eye on your, your water bucket levels. Have some more antifreeze ready to go at a moment's notice. Um, I had my two set in there. Um, if you look, I do have more, but I was more or less saving this for the the other boat we got setting. 
probably a month or two down the line. Not sure how that's going to work, but I still want to get out and fish. This one, however, sits outside. We've had a few nights uh, of freezing temperatures, so I wanted to make sure we didn't burn it down or freeze it up, put a heater in it. If that falls down, I've heard of these things starting fires. Otherwise, of course, you know what happens with freeze up. That's why we're winterizing. Obviously pull the corks, drains in the engine, two blocks, two manifolds. Typically you're gonna have one on each side of the engine. So one on one side of the block, one on the other, and then the manifolds, of course, one on each side. So you should have four plugs, drains, butterfly valves, what have you. Um, bigger boats like this, you actually have to go through and winterize the fresh water systems, which I will be getting to, but that's a completely separate topic. But if you had any questions about how I built this or whatnot, leave me a comment. We've been winterizing uh, in this fashion, God, probably for about 25 years and have never had an issue. I know there's some people who've, uh, who've tried the gravity fed and they, they say it's great. And then there's some other people who have tried that gravity fed system and said uh, it hasn't gotten into all the pores or all the you know engine cavities and it would freeze and break. So. One of the ideas behind the pump is so you can pump it in there and get it going. The other thing I make sure I do is I do rev the engine up a bit, just so it's not just on idle. Water's moving a little bit faster, everything's a little bit hotter. Hopefully if there's any water remaining in there, it will evaporate, essentially, when you're running it through. Um, ideally, you're getting all the pink stuff changed in, but once you get it so hot, hopefully if there's anything in there that for whatever reason was missed it's warm enough to evaporate out so again never had any issues always drain it afterwards so that way the pink's gone and uh yeah i'm about ready to put this thing to bed